So up here, there used to be a bag of cat food. Now the bag of cat food is down here and ripped open from the side. And there are no guilty kitties to be found in this room. We have a problem here, people. We have a problem. Somebody is out of control. It might be me. Damn it. Is there something you want to tell me about? Look at you. Look at you. You've hit rock bottom. something in the way he's laying because he is not this big but look at this what, buddy what are you doing you've got a real problem my friend you were a bad boy huh you don't even care look at you you're just so handsome what wait where do you think you're going you gonna go clean up the mess? Huh? Why, why don't you show me what happened here? Hmm? You wanna talk about that? Hmm? You wanna talk about that over there? Do you feel any shame at all, Meatball? <sighs> of course you don't. Okay, go back where you came from. Oh my god, I can't even imagine how much you ate. So I've mentioned being a sucker for things like with antlers. So I got this for my father's Father's Day card. And I can't read it out loud because I started crying in the aisle, but I will let you take a look here. Yeah. Yeah. Killing me. Look. Sunday, June the 18th, and I am closing in on finishing this thing. I have only been working on it a week and one day, and this is the fastest I have progressed on anything ever. Um, I did, of course, notice one mistake already. Um, this little stone, oops. This one here is too high by one stitch. I don't know if I'm going to pull it out and do it again. I don't know that it necessarily matters. Certainly there's nothing else, you know, hinging on it. But otherwise, it's so cute. Um... We took my father out tonight for Father's Day for dinner. And now I have a killer headache. So I think I'm giving up for the night. I am watching um, Michelle over at the Striped Rose. I enjoy her a great deal. But I think I need to close my eyes. Have a good night. I hope you can hear me over the air conditioner. If I turn it off, I'll die. So, it's done. I haven't had a real finish in a long time. 
It came out so cute. I'm so happy with this. So I started this on June 10th, and today is Tuesday, June 20th. So 10 days. Now I don't know what I want to do next. I have a couple of primitive hair patterns that I need to download. And I recently bought Verbana? Verbana? Forget. You know, I just sent the money. I didn't read things. Um, so I'll have to pick the next thing for Salem 325. But this one is done. And I still have plenty of this linen left. I don't don't hate the linen as much as I did when I started. And I ended up not pulling out the top of the fence like I wanted to because, eh, because. I kind of zhuzhed the stitches and overall, I mean, it's linen, it's uneven, it looks a little rustic, it looks a little prim. I'm actually okay with it. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm not sure how I want to finish it. Maybe a little pillow? Or maybe... Kind of thinking like a soft sculpture, wedge-shaped... Uh, I'll see if I can find an example and put a picture of it in here. But I'll do something with it. This won't go to waste. <sighs> All right. I'm going to go listen to the scanner and think about what I'm going to stitch next. Talk to you soon. Hey there. It is Thursday, June the 20-something. And most unexpectedly, I am still working on Love You Always. I have no idea why. I came home and I was had in my head all the things I wanted to get ready to start my next um, Salem uh, commemorative stitching. And uh, I stood in front of my, my cabinet and I didn't feel like taking out the silks because I wanted to look at the silks and then I had to find more 310. Like I have to look far to go get some 310. Um, so I said, well, this is already on the Q-snap. I'm just going to keep going on this tonight. Don't know what's gotten into me, but I'm making progress. Hey there. Long time no see. I feel like I haven't been in front of the camera in, well, I don't know. So, I wanted to uh, get on camera because I just got done watching Michelle Cozier and her latest video. Today is Thursday, June the, the something or other. And, you know. She's had a couple of videos that have really hit me hard. Um, and this one, I just, I felt so sorry. Michelle, you can't make other people care like you care about something. And you're so sweet to care about the things that you care about. Um, I felt bad that you felt like maybe the Salem Stitch Along, that people weren't taking it as seriously as they should be. And I agree with you that there are a lot of people who are treating it as a chance to, you know, pull out their Halloween patterns and... But you know, I would rather see people take it a little more lightly than not at all. Um, 
you know, be better for them to be stitching something and at least thinking about it than, than just ignoring the whole thing or, you know, worse, going through life continuing to think that these are characters in a book that they read in fifth grade. Um, I've spent a lot of time in Salem and I will tell you that there are people who think that they are visiting some sort of, you know, fantasy, like, like a, a colonial village built based on the crucible or something. Like they just don't, they don't really grasp it. And you do. And that's so sweet. And that's so good. And don't give that up and don't get discouraged by other people who aren't taking it the way you are because they're just coming at it from a completely different place. And, you know, you have to give people credit at least for getting involved, being part of something, and, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not good at holding my phone up for this long. Um, you're doing good, and you're making a difference by, you know, voicing your concerns and your opinions about what people are, you know, choosing to stitch and how they're choosing to, to um, you know, commemorate it. There's a difference between commemorating and celebrating not every not everybody is seeing the line between the two and and I understand that don't let it hurt you what you're doing you have a beautiful pattern you have an amazing pattern you're so lucky to have that stitch it and and love it and think about the people as you stitch you're going to put so much of your own heart and energy into that piece it is going to reverberate with you for so many years don't give up on it now. Come enjoy it with the rest of us. You do it your way, they'll do it their way, and we all get to do it together. That didn't sound right. Good night, Michelle. Hi, it is Friday, June the 23rd, and I am just sitting down at uh, almost 9 o'clock to start my second project for the Salem Stitch Along um, to commemorate the, uh, the Salem Witch Trials. Um, watched a very emotional video from Cozy Egg uh, last night and I won't say, I, it's awful to say I liked it, but I like it when people talk about what they think. Because we do a lot of editing and a lot of censoring and a lot of, you know, I'd rather just keep the floss to piece than say what I'm thinking and then you just end up feeling awful and, you know, she certainly didn't rant. She, uh, she was just sad and I was sad with her, but I think we should do this and be proud. So, what I have decided to do on the 28 count even weave that I coffee dyed. I am swapping out the DMC colors for Silks For You Silk. I bought a sample pack a while back and I have been looking for the right thing to use it for and I think this is perfect. Um, I took out 310 and honestly, I had thought this pa this pattern was bigger, but it's really not. I might have enough of the blackish silk that she sent. I worry about running out of it. I don't know. I'll have to decide soon because I'm getting ready to do this. Um, I think I'll do the black and DMs. Ah, oh no, now I'm changing my mind. All right, well, I'll figure it out. But either way, I'm getting ready to dive in. And, you know, my... Hi there. I can just shut off. I'm going to have to work on that. Rather than print this out, which I usually do with my PDF patterns, I decided to try to work on it. Well, first I was going to work on it on my old Kindle Fire. And that's just causing me nothing but problems. I think it's a first generation. It's forever ago. I don't know. I... It seems like too much of an investment to just let it go. It could definitely work for, you know, 
fooling around with patterns and stuff, but I don't know. It's in there trying to charge. We'll see if that works. So I figured rather than do it on the phone, I would do it on my tablet. Tablet is being a little childish. I don't know. Things are difficult. Dante's got it under control. She knows what she's doing, but, you know, I'm a mess. All right, I think I'm going to swap out that black with the silk and just do this whole hog. And if I run out, I guess I'll cry. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. All right, I'll figure it out. Bye. Okay, it's me again. I went and got the darkest skein that came with the silks. And it looks to me more like a charcoal, which I think is okay. I think it'll look nice. That's going to be enough, right? I've never used this stuff before. Do I take a chance... Because the thing is, is the only other amount that I could order, like, even if I could get more, like, knew what to ask for, because there's a black and a charcoal, and I'm, I'm going to assume this is the charcoal on her Etsy store, I'd have to buy a hank. Right? This is confusing. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Okay. I will show you how this turns out. Or something. Bye. My even weave is not even. My even weave is not even. Well, not bad progress for a night. Um, I'm not happy about the not even weave, but I don't know. I'm not stopping. It's too late to stop. I've, you know, that silk in there, I'm not pulling that out. So I think what I've decided is I'm going to pick a fourth color or I'm going to use more of the green and the orange in place of the charcoal in some of the motifs just to kind of conserve the charcoal because when I undid the skein it looked like a lot less than what I think I need so I at least want to make sure that I get through the raven with the charcoal um but I like it I, the thread is beautiful I love using it stitching with it is just um, it's so easy Pardon me while I move around. Um, no knots, no snags, just, you know, just flows. So that's been very nice. So I'm glad I started this, and this will be my project until it's done. And then probably, let's see, it's almost the end of June. I'm thinking this is probably going to take me a few weeks. A July project. I could probably get five projects done during the Salem Sal. So I'm excited about that. I like the idea of that. This is the um, the Salem Cemetery that I finished the other night. I mean, that's the first real finish I've had in a long time. So I'm glad that we're doing this. Now it is almost 11.30. I'm tired. I'm watching Floss 2 videos from May. I'm going to relax. Talk to you tomorrow.